it's Mike McHugh again, and yes, that's right, I'm in another hotel room just for a bit of a change. I'm out on the road doing a couple of jobs in New South Wales, I'm staying at Darling Harbour, in lovely Darling Harbour in Sydney. But that's the least of our concerns because this week, that's right, this week we're doing Photoshop again, and you should get excited. I'm excited enough, but you should be excited because this week we're doing some Photoshop retouching and it is going to be a killer. You won't have seen anything like this anywhere on anything ever before. Unbelievable. So hopefully you'll really enjoy this. Let me know. Get onto the website. Oh, I've got an article going up onto Inform IT soon. I'm going to put a link to it on my website and you can click on that and go along to it. I'm also doing some live online CS3 sessions for Adobe using Acrobat Connect. So you'll be able to log on for free for an hour at lunchtime. It's Australian time, but you can anywhere in the world, you'll be able to log on, send me messages and stuff. And I'm going to give you a rundown on CS3. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty good. Anyway, here comes the Photoshop tip. Enjoy. Well, hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because it's going to be another wild ride inside of Photoshop CS3, and I'm going to give you the lowdown on doing some retouching in here. And this is going to be a fashion-style retouching. I couldn't just go for any normal photograph, though. I decided to get this crazy photo I took of the lovely Jen, and we're going to do a bit of a skin-smoothing a la magazine cover style of retouching here and you're going to see how easy it is in Photoshop CS3. Step number one, find a photo. Unretouched. Step number two, bring out your layers palette. Okay, here we have one background layer there. I'll just zoom on in. See, we've got a background layer. It's locked. We need to convert this background layer so that we can run a smart filter on it, which is a new thing in Photoshop CS3. So we instantly go from here right up to here, the filter menu, and down to convert for smart filters. Okay, so as soon as we click this and we just have, I'll zoom back out a little, you can see we have a little warning here. I'll just read that out for you. To re enable smart filters, the selected layer will be converted into a smart object. So the layer is a smart object, and what that essentially means is, well, it looks like this. It gets this great little square uh, in the bottom corner there, and that means we can't destroy it no matter what we do. So we can run filters on that nowadays in Photoshop CS3, and it will remain intact. We can edit, edit the filters, we can undo them, all the rest of it. So I'm going to go for a very heavy-handed approach under the filter menu here, and I'm just going to go straight down to blur, and I'm going to use this surface blur. Okay, so we're right down the bottom here. I'll zoom in, surface blur, there it is there. This one is a heavy handed blur for smoothing out skin. So I'm going to bring it up there. There it is, surface blur. Well, the uh, radius and threshold are completely out of sight. Let's zoom in a little bit, and I'll just pan this window so we can zoom in. That is a little scary, isn't it? So you can have a good look at this window. Drag the radius down a little, and I'll just nudge that down, drag the threshold down as well. Bring the radius up now. We won't need to do as much. We'll bring the threshold up, and that tells us what type of detail we're gonna blur. We wanna blur the very fine detail and smooth the skin out. The radius we can drag up, and that will sort of eradicate any patchiness that we might find in the skin. We want to keep light and shadow, but we want to eradicate any patchiness. So I'll keep on dragging that up a little, and we might get rid of just a little bit more. Mm, that's a bit much. We'll bring it back to 13 is unlucky. Don't do 13. Do 12. Anyway, let's press OK. We'll zoom back out and have a look. Well, it has smoothed the skin out indeed. Okay, so as I zoom in there, you'll see, yeah, we have smoothed that skin out. But we also have lost a lot of detail in the hair. We've lost a bit of detail around the eyes and all the rest of it. It does look exceptionally fake. That is the look that we're going for, a fake look, but perhaps not that fake. Have a look at the layers. 
So we come and have a look at the layers here and you see we have a smart filter. We can nowadays turn filters on and turn them off. But the key is we've got a mask. The ma and this is just to mask the filter of the surface blur. So let's follow this up a little bit. I select that and I'm going to say go to my little edit menu right at the top here and I'm going to scroll down to fill and over to black and press OK and then have a look. I have filled my mask with black which has hidden the effect. Okay, Now that's a bit strange. Why would you go to all that trouble to achieve no effect? Now I can select a paintbrush with white as my foreground color and a nice soft edge brush. I've got a soft edge brush about 80 uh, pixels there and I'll zoom in a little bit on the lovely Jen there. Maybe that's a bit big that brush and I can now paint over with white on my mask which is what I'm doing to reveal the effect of this smoothing and all I have to do is just paint a little hole in this mask and I can smooth this skin out as easy as you like and there we go we're even going to hide a lot of little imperfections there so zoom out paint I'm going to just really do this real quick so you guys watching everyone watching on YouTube everyone that's downloaded this video via iTunes hello to everyone there hello to Pete Richies who's watches the show he sends me messages all the time g'day Pete how you going I hope you enjoy this I love all the cats on YouTube so all the people that have been um, sending me comments on, on YouTube I love it you know I'm sort of I'm 35 years old now and I get some of these comments I don't even know what they mean and it's just great I'll be able to use them on my kids when they grow up MC spicy someone described one of my episodes as I think it's good I just I really don't know who cares I'm painting this in and it looks pretty special and all I've done is painted a hole in this mask I filled it with black and then I paint on it with white to reveal this effect not over the entire image but just where I wanted it and you saw when I painted over a skin in the background it really just smoothed it out let's do a before and after shall we we'll zoom in a bit turn off the mask so I'm over here now I'm turning off the mask and the filter before after before after that's just taken me a couple of seconds to do that that's unbelievable and do you do you know what else is really cool you can edit this amount so if that is too much you have just blown it out of the water over here on the on the layers there is a little double click for blending if I double click that I can just fade my surface blur down the opacity maybe give it 70% or something like that not the full tilt then do a before and after in this little preview window so it's not such a heavy-handed thing but that's not me you know me I'm not subtle let's hide that and we'll click down the bottom here we'll go into a full screen view just to finish off what do you think everyone with tab that's the lovely Jen by the way she's single so if anyone is interested just thought I'd <laughs> well, I hope you like that I certainly enjoyed doing it that's it for another episode of Creative Sweet T TV. I have on my website, www.creativesweettv.com, a little area where you can put comments in. So please get along there and put some comments. Or if you're on YouTube, good on you. You know, get into it. I love YouTubers. Let us know what you think about the show. I've had a poll going for a few weeks now about would you buy a Creative Sweet TV t shirt? Well, I've got a peach bit. I've got a Peach Pit TV t-shirt on. There you have it. brought to us by Peach Pit TV. Um, there was a resounding yes. People wanted to buy it. There was a couple of crazy people that said, what the hell are you talking about? There's absolutely no way I'd wear a stupid t-shirt. Maybe I might make some. Who knows? Anyway, 